Tesla looking at acquiring land adjacent to its gigafactory in Germany. The recently opened Tesla Giga Berlin Brandenburg facility in Grünheide, Germany, might end up being bigger than originally planned. Unconfirmed rumors, RBB through Electrive, claim that Tesla intends to purchase an additional plot, 100 hectares, next to the enormous 300 hectare site, which is large enough for many new gigafactories. Between the RE1 railway line, which Tesla uses, and the L23 and L38 rural roads, there is more land to the east that might be exploited for production, storage, or by suppliers. At this time, nothing is official or certain, but the rumors among circles of authority seem plausible. The article claims that the state of Brandenburg owns a sizable portion of the property, which would be ideal for sale but could need changing the area's development plan and reaching another agreement about water usage, water protection area. Similar to the main region, the majority of the present area is a tree farm. RBB calculates that, assuming the same price per unit as for the original plot, the extra land may cost 13 million euros, 13.7 million dollars. The rumor of an imminent expansion is likely since the price is not large in comparison to Tesla's business and because it is a growing firm. Tesla has plenty of space, even without extra land. Due to supply chain problems and the local lockdowns at the Giga Shanghai site, Tesla is now working to scale up the production of the Made in Germany MIG, Tesla Model Y at the facility. Recent videos show several vehicle haulers waiting for a delivering new automobiles to buyers in Europe as the MIG Tesla Model Y advances. Simultaneously, building activity continues almost everywhere, some projects are connected to the planned battery production plant, while others are auxiliary to the primary manufacturing facilities, 4,680 type cylindrical cells instead of imported 2,170 type cylindrical cells from China. The 4,680 cells will be used in the European Model Y, but Musk claims that's not all. Additionally, it will include a substantial battery pack, massive castings for the body's front and back, and Geico Taikisha's avant-garde painting technique. Musk added that fixed storage and medium-range cars would both heavily rely on LFP, lithium iron phosphate, batteries. In other words, these LFP batteries will be used in both the $25,000 car it wants to produce and a potential Model E standard range. They are already utilized by the Shanghai-built Model 3. That, however, is not the most crucial aspect of the message. Musk said that all of these technologies will be tested at Giga Berlin, which involves huge production risk. Two years later, Fremont and Giga Shanghai will follow if they turn out to be worthwhile. That justification is intriguing, but it's also dangerous. Tesla's two major markets are the US and China, therefore Musk does not want to take any chances there. To guarantee that they both get the cars they want, production will continue as it is. That urgency will not exist at Giga Berlin. Even while Europe is crucial, in the event that something goes wrong, China or the US can provide it. It is therefore the most secure setting to test these new technologies. However, if Tesla is unable to maintain the levels of quality that would keep European customers engaged, this plan might backfire. A issue may arise if the structural battery raises insurance rates. Consumer protection organizations in Europe have the power to make Tesla's existence in that continent more difficult if the 4680 battery poses any problems, rather than just competing against rivals that customers there are more accustomed to, like Volkswagen. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, discussed the company's near-death experience in an anxious interview that was shown on HBO Sunday night. Tesla was seriously in danger of dying because of the Model 3 production ramp, according to Musk.